or two or laser master three got it sitting right here 10 watt got an upgrade kit take it to 20 watt it is not just as simple as taking the head off and putting another head on there's a little bit more to it than that there were power supply different front section here we'll also change the motherboard and that type of thing but it's all contained in the front module so I'm going to go through this step by step show you everything you need to do even though it's 95 degrees we're going to get this done coming up I'm Roger walking to the shop and as I mentioned at the beginning here the laser master 3 in front of me for more tour uh, it's 10 watt head on and it has performed just fine I've used the daylights out of this especially making cork coasters and cork backings for ceramic coasters that's what this laser has been pretty much relegated to but now I have a kit here where I can upgrade this from a 10 watt head to a 20 watt head and as I said it's not just a matter of swapping the head up here you're gonna to have to swap this part too so what's in this box here you get a, a manual and some foam and some destructions here and then instructions along with a guide on uh, what settings to use kind of a guideline according to what you're printing it is kind of a handy thing to have as a starting point okay then we have the new power supply of course a cord for it got an air valve here a little antenna for the Wi-Fi which I don't use and another air connector some air tubing we have the new 20 watt head which as you can see is substantially larger than the 10 watt head that's going to make a difference on limit switches etc so we got some more foam then we have the new front panel here that we're going to have to swap out so let me get rid of some trash here and we'll get to doing some swapping this should be pretty straightforward and pretty easy okay as you can see i've turned this upside down and i have taken the laser module off just so it make it a little bit easier to lay upside down and i'm thinking i may try to fit this to my uh Porter laser master 2 pro because i have one of those too and this has a 5 watt head on it i may upgrade it to a 10 watt so definitely not going to throw that away Okay, we have things upside down. We're going to need to unplug the motherboard connector right here. And if you work it back and forth, the tab up on top you're going to have to push down. It should come right out. There we go, like that. There's a little tab right there. You need to push that down like this. And yes, I have paint on my hands. So next we have the little motor connector here we're going to have to unplug that runs up here to the stepper motor the other end now down in here you'll see there'll be a screw on each side three m and m's you can remove that don't throw it away we're going to reuse it so it'll just come off like so contain those screws you're going to need them to put the new one on I'm going to take the old Wi-Fi antenna off of here just so I don't break it. I do give you one with the upgrade kit, but I'll probably just reuse this one. Because as I said, I don't use the Wi-Fi anyway. So that's just a matter of setting this one back into place. Same place you took the other one off. Put the screws back in. Then you'll have your motor to plug back in. And your motherboard connector and that tab will go towards the top. Remember this is upside down right now. So that's all there is to that part. You can put your antenna back on too. Or use a new one. Take your pack. Okay, up here on the top side, I've got a couple of uh, wire ties I need to cut because we need to change the laser cable itself. The new laser head comes with its own cable that will plug in down yonder there. So this cable right here is the one that went to your laser head. 
and at the other end, a little tab there, push that tab down, you can just unplug it like so. And the new one here will plug right back into that same connector. You know, little twists out of it. Oh, just like that. Now I need to retie my cable here. I'll set this on the. Well, I guess I need to find that thumb screw. Your thumb screw is in your little bag of goodies you get with this. I'll get that started in there. I'll have to grab me some wire ties. It does not come with any extra ones, so but I've got plenty of my own. There are holes in the frame here to mount your wire tie to and wrap it around your cable and air hose. So remember not to make it so tight that you crimp your air hose shut. If you don't already have air assist, you will need to use the, uh, the hose here that comes with it to uh, run to your air assist pump. Add a few more here just to dress this up. So you need to raise that up a little bit. Okay, there's a the port right here you open up, a little plug, rubber plug you take out, your hose will go right down in that hole. And it'll lock in just like that. Then you just cut off all your tag ends. To end with the uh, little accessory package, there's a little plastic box in here, it has a spare lens in it for the laser. So you can put that someplace where you won't forget where it is and then forget anyway like I do. But that's what's in that little plastic case. Okay, coming with more power is a larger power supply. This here is the original. I'll take the power cord off of that and just reuse that one. And for the air assist pump, not too many things laying in the way here. I have an extra long hose on here because I usually keep this pump quite a ways away from the laser when I'm using it upstairs. Get that hooked back up. Of course this end here goes onto the laser. My air assist plugged in over here. Now this does come with a little valve in here so you can adjust pressure if you wish. I have the uh, variable speed air pump on here. I need to focus this. Let me raise this up. I got a little scrap MDF here. A little kickstand you kick down right there. Set her down. Take your thumb screw back up. Remember to put the kickstand back up. We'll do a little test and grave with something here in a minute. So I've got this uh, connected, I thought. Need to boot my computer up. Okay, of course you'll want to uh, make sure your USB cable is plugged in, your power supply is plugged in, everything's plugged in over there, your e-stop is released. It says here, if that button is down, this isn't going to work. To release it, just give it a quarter turn to the right to release. You want to have your key on, and you can hit power. You have to hold it until it beeps. And it should come home. And I see I need to move the uh, screw for the limit switch. So I'll we'll power this back down. I neglected to do that. There's a little screw right here which is a stop. There's one on each side. I need to move those over to the next notch. It's two and a half M&Ms if you're keeping score there. So don't be like me and forget to do that. And I actually knew that needed to be done. Now we'll get back here, we'll release the emergency stop, turn the key back on. Now it should come home. Okay, 
Okay, I'm connected here in Light Burn. I got a little, just a little test thing I do when I'm uh, going to check out to burn a new grid or whatever. And speaking of grids, this does change the layout a little bit. The grid I have on here now is 400 millimeter by 400 millimeter. The X travel remains the same at 400 millimeters. Your Y travel is now 380. So this will be a little off on my grid, but it's something I can uh, keep in mind when I'm doing layouts. So I'm working from absolute coordinates, starting in the center. Just run this quick little engrave here and see how long it should take. 53 seconds. So to give this a start, I've already framed it. We'll say the shield on this laser head is very, very good. This is doing a little bit of offset fill with a number. So I know somebody's going to ask what my speeds are. On the line, first set of line was 5,000 millimeters per minute at 40%. The second one was 3,000 millimeters at 50%. Offset fill is 4,000 millimeters per minute at 40%. All with air assist. Well, I know somebody's going to want to see this cut, so we'll do that. Got a honeycomb board laying in here. I need to raise this up. And I'm going to have to move my thumb screw to a different hole. Because I'm going to run out of travel room there by the time I get to the top of this honeycomb board. It's out here. I'm getting my focus set. Again, put the little kickstand down. Boy, I need to play the lottery. I got that right on. Didn't even have to do anything. Well, we'll cut some kind of little shape out here. I'll take this back home. It's the little cut file or cut grid for setting your getting your bases set. So I've already framed this. I'm working from absolute coordinates. We'll give it a start. Of course, I'm running this almost in miniature, so I'm not going to be able to read the numbers on the wood here, but this is a test cut grid for 3mm plywood. So there's our cutout grid, and I'll take a look here and see where we get the best setting from. This power setting is 50% and 500 millimeters per minute and that's what I'm going to run here and do this little cut out of a seahorse already framed it again I'm working from absolute coordinates we'll give this a start I do have air assist on Okay, so here's our little seahorse. Just like that. No scorching. Perfect cut. That's just to kind of give you an idea of a baseline. Uh, again, it's uh, 500 millimeters per minute at 60% power. If you were to up your power, you could also increase the speed. So that's all there is to it. Upgrading your Ortur Laser Master 3 from a 10 watt to a 20 watt. Not difficult at all. I did a couple. Uh, cuts and engraves there just kind of give you a baseline of where to start if you're moving up from a 10 watt to a 20 watt because the it's not linear just because it's a 20 watt doesn't mean it's going to take half the power and half the time it, it doesn't work that way you're going to have to run some tests as I did here and uh, it, it's right on par with uh, some other 20 watt lasers so if you got anything out of this appreciate getting a thumbs up always helps the channel if you'd like to get this upgrade kit there'll be a link in the description and where you can get it from more tour. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.